Okie doke, so I'm going to make a video on how I make these um, stylized seed pods. Um, I'm going to quickly show you this sequence over here at the anvil before I show you the tooling over on my workbench. Um, so basically these things start off as 30mm um, round bar and the indentations in them are done individually. Um, so I need um, nine pieces that are like this. Um, there's nine um, items required like that in, in the gate that I'm making and basically these indentations are done individually then it's not like stamping all three uh, indentations in one go so it's a case of feeding the bar progressively through the tool um, bum, bum, bum. so yeah um, starting out like 30 mil round indenting one after the other then using a, a tool to isolate this mass at the end and then uh, forging it out into round bar because ultimately the ultimately these are going to be welded onto 16 mil round bar um, whilst I'm over here I'll just show you the tongs that I'm going to be using in the process these are some tongs I made for holding 30 mil round um, uh these ones are just for getting the stuff in and out of the gas fire and then these ones here um i actually made to hold um 16 mil round and 16 mil square um but they by great fluke work really nicely so this is going to be a little bit clumsy now because i'm trying to look at what i'm doing in real life whilst also looking at the camera um so they very nicely hold on to that. So I'm, I had a nice fluke there. Okay, so I'm going to pause this whilst I wander over to the table and show you the tooling um, that I use to make these. So it's probably actually worth <laughs> showing what the design, you know, how these things are being used. So this is um, uh, these stylized pods are getting used in a gate, right? So as I say, these indentations are done individually, and the, the tool that I use for that, these are all, uh, these three tools in this sequence all get used in the, in the power hammer, and I'll ex explain in a mo like how that works but basically um onto the on this tool this pinches um and puts the indentations top and bottom simultaneously these are um the ball peen ball peens from a ball peen a couple ball peen hammers that i bought at a boot fair and just chopped them off um and welded them up and pretty crudely but you know <laughs> it, it all works very crudely put together um Important thing to say about this is that I've got a couple depth stoppers in here which prevent those the faces of the the round faces of the ball peens from touching. So that hits into there. I don't know if it's gonna to focus too well. Anyway. So this isn't like paper thin, that's it's about like four mil thickness in there. The next tool is these this one, these half round what that does is I nip in around this area and that allows me to isolate that mass and also by nipping in using this tool what it means is that I don't end up with like a hard shoulder I've got this sort of soft I can I'm probably actually going to radius this a smidge more but I, it runs up into it it's not like a hard edge and lastly is this one which is another depth stopper and basically um, this one prevents um, me from hammering this section down too thin because um, these are 16 mil square bar pieces of 16 mil square bar and basically th this is 16 mil round and um, so the um, well <laughs> an image is worth a thousand words so I'll just show you <laughs>
So now I've um, finished forging these down, I'm just going to um, uh, do the last thing, which is just tickling them with a grinder with a flat disc, uh, not flat disc, a uh, wire wheel. Whilst these are hot, actually, I find that is a good way to do it because it sort of removes a bit of stock, but it, um, it um, smooths quite nicely, so I'll just do that.